So today we're going to tackle a comment that I see quite often actually. Never, mostly always when I post a fan showdown video, I'll see a comment or two where somebody's like, uh, hey, uh, why, don't you, uh, why don't you smooth out those prints? You get a better performing fan if you didn't have all those layer lines in there. And that might be true actually because I've actually never tested that. But the reason that I don't smooth out my prints for the fan showdown videos is because, well, I print all my fans out of PLA. And really when you put PLA in an acetone vapor bath, nothing happens. And to understand why PLA doesn't react with acetone, we first got to understand why ABS does. So these are all the same fan. These two are printed in ABS. Uh, ABS is just an industrial plastic. It's very popular in 3D printing, second only to PLA. Both PLA and ABS have very similar tensile strengths. However, ABS is normally preferred for prototyping uh, due to its improved ductile strength and heat resistance. Another reason ABS is sometimes preferred to PLA is because you have the ability to do some post-processing on your prints. Specifically, you have the ability to smooth them out. And this is done with acetone. Acetone is just a colorless solvent that's mainly used for cleaning. You can find it a lot in nail polish remover and stuff like that. But, fun fact, ABS is highly reactive to acetone, meaning that it dissolves in it. And that's kind of how you get those nice, beautiful surface finishes. You put an ABS print in a vapor bath of acetone and the surface begins to dissolve and as those layer lines dissolve, they kind of smooth out. And then when you remove it from the vapor bath, it rehardens and you get that nice shiny sheen and you kind of remove all those layer lines. However, PLA is uh, not reactive to acetone. Actually, the more pure your PLA prints are, the less reactive to acetone they are. So essentially you cannot put a PLA print in an acetone vapor bath and have it do anything. But that's also just me telling you you can't. So today we're going to test it. We're going to we're going to test these three fans. I have two ABS ones. One we're going to smooth or attempt to smooth. One PLA one that we're also going to attempt to smooth. And then once we have these two processed, we're going to leave one as is with the layer lines and one hopefully all smoothed out. We're going to test these two fans head to head and see is there any discernible difference between one that is smooth and one that's well not. So come on over. Today's video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks, ranging from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, languages, businesses, motivation, and more. And now Audible is giving members even more with the all new Plus Catalog. All members have access to the growing Plus Catalog with thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, guided fitness and meditation programs, sleep tracks for better rest, and more. Audible has plenty of content to entertain, inform, and inspire. It's easy to find and just right to listen to, whether it's comedy, romance, suspense, true crime, science fiction, or fitness and wellness. You can start exploring Audible now with a 30-day free trial. Visit audible.com slash hardware to listen to your audiobooks today. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring this video. Now this fan was actually one submitted to the fan showdown. It just happened to be perfect for this video as well. Uh, reason being is I wanted something with a, a reasonably thick blade so it wouldn't just dissolve away in the vapor bath. And I wanted it to have a nice shallow blade angle so that you could easily see the layer lines, which I think this one does a good job of. As you can see, this is the PLA one. This is the ABS one. Uh, before we do any smoothing though, we need to do some initial testing between these two. So the first test I want to do after I have them smoothed is to see if the one that's smooth actually takes less power to spin than the other one. Uh, the thought behind this is maybe there's less drag on the smooth blade fan, so therefore it can spin more efficiently. To do that, we're going to look at the power draw of the fans while they're spinning. But before we smooth them, we need to make sure that they're drawing the same amount of power. So first we'll just turn the power supply on without a fan to see how much power it takes just to spin the fan in the power supply. Looks like 6.4 watts, so we'll turn that off now. Hook our fan up. Put one of our discs on there and we're just going to blow it at the table to give it some resistance. Looks like 8.3 watts. So that's that one. Hopefully the other fan is exactly 8.3 as well and that'll give us a nice baseline to do our testing. 8.3, looking good. So let's do some smoothing. To accomplish this, we're going to use this bowl. And in this bowl, we're going to line the edges with this paper towel. Pretty simple so far. And then what we're going to do is soak this paper towel in acetone. And what we want to do then is suspend this fan within the vapor of the acetone. We don't want it to touch the paper towel at all. And the way we're going to do that is by using this other Noctua motor hub, pushing it into this fan like so. 
Then we can take the lid, put it over the hub, and use this magnet to hold it on there. And that way we can know that it's centered, put it into the bowl, seal everything up, and know that it's not gonna touch anything it shouldn't. And after 15 minutes, we should have a smoother looking model. Okay, hopefully there's something beautiful under here. It's been 15 minutes. Oh no! I guess we'll just let it sit a little longer. Okay, so it's been a little longer than in 15 minutes, probably closer to an hour or so. I flipped it upside down because acetone vapor is heavier than air and it makes it a little quicker. Let's see if we got something that's looking a little better now. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. Got that nice shiny look and it's starting to smooth. Looks pretty good. So now we just gotta let it dry for a minute and then we'll put the PLA in there. Okay. It does look, it does look pretty cool. This is the first time I've ever seen an ABS print that's been acetone smooth. And it does look really, really nice. I can see why somebody would do it for uh, aesthetic purposes on like a model. It looks a lot better than that. Now, does it perform better? I don't know. We'll get to that here in a second. But before we run, that, run those tests, we're gonna get this PLA one in the acetone vapor bath just to make sure that we don't get similar results. We shouldn't, but you never know. First test we're gonna do is the efficiency test. We're just gonna rerun the blades again. We know before they took the same amount of power to spin. So we'll run the, the 3D printed one that's not been smooth first, pushing the air directly to the table. Then we'll swap them, see if there's any difference. And then we'll run them like this where there's no restriction behind the, the fan and see, is there a noticeable difference? Before it was 8.3, should be the same on this one. We haven't done anything to it. And it looks like it is, 8.3. Next up is the smooth blades. They do look better. Interesting, 8.4, slightly, slightly worse. Hmm. 8.1 watts. 8.1 watts. Uh, I mean, when it, was on, when it was down towards the table, it was slightly worse, but standing up, it wasn't, ah, probably margin of error. I'm gonna say unchanged between the smooth blades and the, uh, the raw layer line blades. So that, that's kind of interesting. Although there was no difference in the power draw or the efficiency of the blades, regardless if they were you know, smooth or rough, there was a difference in noise. The smooth blades came in at 48.9 dBA. The rough ones, they came in at 49.3. So that's a win regardless of how you put it. So as long as they cool the same, you guys might be right. There might be performance to be had just by smoothing out your blades. So we're just gonna run this like we do every single fan showdown video. We're gonna stress test it, run it for a set amount of time, see what the temperature is over the room temperature. And uh, the one that does the best obviously wins. And hopefully it's this one. Cause that's it really, other than the fact that ABS is kind of finicky to print with, to smooth this out is not very hard. You, you pour some acetone on a paper towel and you, you just wait. That's it. So we'll start with the rough blades, then we'll run the smooth blades, and then we'll come back and tell you who is the best. Excuse me. Yeah. So after a couple runs on the old test bench, the numbers are in. And well, before that, let's look at this. P, let's look at the PLA one. Did, did it smooth? after being in this for probably a little over an hour or so. It did not. It looks exactly the same as it did when it went in. But we expected that. Anyway, moving on to the smoothed out ABS prints. After running the tests on uh, IDA64 for about 20 minutes, I actually did a couple runs each just to make sure things looked good. Um, the room temperature this time around was 19.3 for both runs. The smooth print came in with a temperature of 76.3 and the not smooth print or just the raw 3D printed one came in with a score of 76.3. They got the exact same score. That's why I ran it twice because after seeing that I was like, well, did I, did I forget to click a button or something? I expected some sort of variance, but no, they both finished exactly the same in both runs. So what does that, what does that give us? Well, you could say that there's no benefit 
to smoothing out a print, at least when it comes to the thermals on this fan design for this test. But I would say that there is some performance to be gained because remember, it might be cooling the same as the non-smooth print, but from our noise test, we do know that it's doing so while being quieter. And we all know that being quiet is a big thing in PC fans. So I think that because the fan is quieter and it cools the same as this one, it is a win for the smooth print. And everybody that said that if you smooth the prints out, you'll get more performance, you're right. You won't get more thermal performance, but you'll get a quieter fan, which turns into better performance. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any other crazy ideas you want me to see, leave a link down below. We'll see you in the next one.